The rare October afternoon kickoff here in Boise. Parents weekend, so a nice crowd on hand as well. And the Broncos winners of the opening coin toss. Here comes pressure, quick throw, and it's incomplete. It was short of the sticks anyway for Fred Trevilian, the senior from Mississippi. Here comes the pressure, quick throw, and across the middle, a tumbling receiver collides with Kiava Tuzino. Ryan Agnew, the backup quarterback, getting the start today, but it's also backups at running back and fullback, crucial positions for this team. Broncos collapse on the rush up the middle on third and seven. The Aztecs trying to go through the defensive line with Jasmine. Second drive of the afternoon. Madison joins Rippin in the backfield. And his quick throw is picked off. Trying to send it to the perimeter, and he did, but into the arms of Darren Hall, who's got his second interception. Reacting, he just reads the quarterback. This is the first interception of the year for Brett Rippin. And Darren Hall, just from the beginning of the snap, he saw where Brett Rippon was going with the football. He drove on it, makes the play. That's a huge play for San Diego State. It's the battle of turnovers. Who's going to win that battle? That game, the Red River Showdown, they're back. Pressure up the middle, picked up. Agnew, a back foot throw, and tosses it out of bounds. Last time they had third and seven, elected to run. That didn't work. John Barron, one of the best kickers in the country for the try from 37. And he's got it, his ninth made field goal in 10 tries this year. Ian Book tonight on display for Notre Dame. Going backwards for okay. Boise State. That was a massive series of plays that they executed defensively. Pressure up the middle, Rippin lets it go over the middle, and it's incomplete. He had it into the hands of Modster. A little slow to get up after taking that hard hit as well. Both teams utilizing freshman punt returners. Going back, Dado lost it. He tried to fall on it at the five-yard line. Ball comes loose, and it's Boise State football. by the kicking team first down the thing is you keep your feet on a certain yard line and if the ball sails over your head you almost just let it go that's a red shirt freshman mistake right there by san diego state here's agnew and a bullet crossing route midfield completion to trevillian we've said his name a bunch here already in the first quarter his third target and his second catch that one for 30 yard drive pass third drive was a run and then this is the pass it's off the play action allowing Agnew enough time in the route to develop and he delivers a strike right in front no down lineman the Broncos rush for Agnew on the move turns the corner can he stay in bounds as he tiptoes and throws short of the first down marker for Kahale wearing the tight end I want to watch the feet of Agnew as he kind of tiptoes the sideline. I thought he may have stepped out. It was a good job by Locker walking, walking him down. But a nice job of tiptoeing the line. But he's out. He's out. In those top Talk four. about us. Don't forget about the Irish. Rippin backed up near the goal line. Throws into double coverage. And he's picked off for the second time today. Tariq Thompson soaring for the takeaway. Rippon hadn't been intercepted this year and twice in the opening quarter. Doesn't need two hands. First of all, he's got the pocket. Brett Rippon does. So he's got the opportunity to allow the route to develop. But then you got to deliver a nice pass. In San Diego State, I talked about it earlier, staying in the cheap seats, the secondary, keeping everything in front of you. And Thompson, he doesn't need two hands. He just goes up with one, brings the football down. That's a terrific job. That's an outstanding job. Church freshman Jones, 21 in at safety. Third down and long. Trevilian, his third catch. 
San Diego State has a first down as Agnew connects with his senior wide receiver. Toss for Jasmine. And a collision in the backfield as he went down. Diego State has struggled in third and long. They got to find a way to cut this second down for a manageable third down. All sorts of time for the Texan quarterback. He puts it up, first down and more to the 20, and the ball scores loose. The Broncos recover, taking it back after the rip and interception, and Horton's got it. Look, the play was made in an effort play. Chase Atada, number 93. He comes all the way from his defensive tackle position, doesn't give up on the play. Watch 93. He's going to come in flash, gets the ball out, and when he does that, Horton's right there for the scoop. That's a terrific job by a defensive tackle. You got to understand where he came from. He was lined up on the line of scrimmage. Rippin looks to the edge, passing complete. There was contact there along the outside with the cornerback, Luke Barku. No flag, though. It was a muffed punt return last time. This time, a muffed snap. And the ball's down at the 31-yard line. <laughs> There's a turnover on downs, technically. I call yeah. it a turnover. You drop a, a punt situation like that. Agnew downfield connects with wearing the tight end. He cuts it back inside the 10. This great field position, the drive starting at the 31 for the Aztecs. Look to be maybe had the wind knocked out of him a little bit, but if I'm San Diego State, that's where I'm attacking at. And you see it already. The nice little Y corner route by Ware. You have the quarterback keep the ball. You got an outstanding kicker. I go with a draw. Agnew back to pass. He tucks it in as he gets crumpled to the ground. Curtis Weaver bursting through for his third sack of 2018. And that sets the stage for John Barron, the kicker. That time, forcing the field goal, push back. Barron good once today and now twice. Rippin with a zip to the edge, first down. Running the ball has proven very difficult through four games against San Diego State. The high percentage looks have paid off. They need just a yard here. And it's a pretty high percentage chance to hand it to Madison, the junior from California. Boise State brings four. Agnew tucks, tumbles, and it's a very close spot at the marker. Agnew with a one hopper toward the sideline. He was facing pressure from Jabril Frazier. Another good job, penetration from the D-line. They fake the run, he throws it, lost it, and it's intercepted. The Aztecs take it away. Ronley Laka Laka, the senior linebacker, a one-handed snare. Great field position once again for SDSU. Those types of plays for these moments. And look, when Chase Core, the backup quarterback, comes in, it's been counter right, counter left. This time, he fakes the counter, pulls it back up. He had a wide receiver streaking down the field. But San Diego State reading their keys. It was Tazino again, the middle linebacker, who's been a menace today for Boise State offensively. He's been coming in on blitzes off the edge. Agnew toward the end zone, back corner incomplete, intended for Wilson, a flag at the end of the play. Aztecs load up on tight ends. Jasmine at the goal line, touchdown San Diego State. Interceptions, but then it's that right side of the offensive line as they cave down that defensive line. They're inviting Boise to run the football. They crowd the middle, strong-armed Rippin delivers to the edge for Monster, his leading receiver, his 25th catch of the year.
The rollout and the catch for Shakir, the freshman from California. Right now, showing a cover two shell, inviting the run. And five men along the line of scrimmage, and Darren Hall comes up with an early hit, and that is short of the sticks as well. The freshman Shakir goes in motion. Keeper for ripping easy first down. Interception right there. Troy Cassidy, the other linebacker, waiting for the throw. Pocket shifted, backside blitz. Rippin is hit hard by Darren Hall, the cornerback. The other blitzes come from from the left side of your screen. No one picks up 23, Darren Hall. And if you're a Boise State fan, you don't want to see this. Your quarterback being hit right there. In San Diego State drops eight. Rippin has time without pressure. And that pass is once again incomplete. No interceptions to see how he handles that to start the half. Nice pick up to Hightower along the outside to get things rolling. A couple of easy throws. That's how you start this half. Madison with good bursts through the hole to the 41 yard line. First down. Been there today. You got to work it the long, hard way. Second time they've called his number. It was fourth and one earlier here, third and one, and Rippin moves the chains. Great Brian Erlacher, who played for Rocky Long at New Mexico, brought that position to life. Here comes pressure. Rippin lets it fly. Miscommunication between he and Modster, and it's fourth down. He's got the first down and evades Horton toward the boundary. I loved been thrust into a leadership role as he's leading this backfield for San Diego State. Agnew pumps and gets pummeled into the turf. The van and he just beats him. He just beats Tyler Romar, number 74. He just comes around, a little inside move, and there's nobody home. It's lights out. Understands a big hit. Third and long situation, San Diego State. Another penalty. Flag is down as Agnew's out of the pocket, and he throws it away on third and 15. Legal formation, the receiver up top, not on the line of scrimmage. Door going deep for the track. It's a sports public service for you as you get locked into college football today. <laughs> Keep you up to date on what's going on in the world of baseball as well. The Aztecs dial it up. Rippin takes a hit. His pass complete to Monster. First down, but there was a price to pay. Rippin going through his reads, and he's taken down in the backfield. Damon Moore, the senior defensive tackle, finds his way to Rippin's jersey. To two, to three. There's nothing there. Look, he's looking one. Two, three, sack. That's a covered sack. That's the whole team, the whole defense going over to the sidelines. Agnew's got a clean pocket. Now it breaks down. He runs. Not enough to get the first down. That's a major hit. Looked like helmet to helmet on the collision from Maeva, the middle linebacker. That could be targeted. Jasmine got it, and we'll see if he gets a friendly spot. From Brett Rippin, who's usually leads his receivers, has not been accurate. He takes one step, and he can't get away from Kiava Tuzino. Fuses to be blocked, cut on the ground, get up, barrel roll, make a sack. Tuzino having himself a game. Rippin checks down for his running back, Madison. Couple yards past the original line of scrimmage. The Broncos will bring the punt team on here. For a nice quick throw, if it's not there, be able to take off and go. They had nowhere to go on the run. Lost about a half yard. 
And that's got the Broncos defense and his hometown crowd excited. Yeah, I didn't like that play call there. Ford keeps it inside the 40-yard line. Yeah, last year it was the Kansas transfer, Montel Cozart. To win a game, he's going to go for it any chance he gets. Here's a reversal from Jasmine. He got bottled up on one side and sprints all the way to the 20-yard line. First down, San Diego State. For and I saw it the last game San Diego State played against Eastern Michigan. It's Jasmine getting to the line of scrimmage, but I talked about it earlier. He keeps the feet moving, and he just finds daylight, gets all the way back to the outside. This is what Jasmine is doing. Look at the confidence of the young running back. And only his second start, we keep this ball on the ground. They do. It's a first down and more. Jordan Bird down the sideline. One Bronco to beat. High-stepping his way all the way to the end zone. 72 yards on the toss, and the Aztecs grow the advantage. You get to the running back today, and they're going deep into the stable. They went all the way to the bottom of the playbook, calling on the true freshman, turning this thing into a track meet. Madison tumbles forward after being initially hit, gets enough for the first down. There's seven or eight at the bottom of the screen. Monster and Richardson. On the rollout, the throw well behind the tight end, Blakely, fourth down. This is what they want to do, run the football, take time off the clock. Toss for Jasmine. Slips away from two tacklers. He can't recreate what he did a drive ago. Watching the safety come down, running it to the left. Third and 16, Jasmine angling for the sticks, comes up a few yards short. Inside six minutes to play, fourth quarter. San Diego State offensively, they just want to run the clock. Defensively, keep the routes in front of them. And there's a bigger picture to consider here. It's just game number five of the year for Boise State at SMU coming up after this game wraps up. First down grab, A.J. Richardson. This is about as in tune as the Broncos have looked today, but part of that's got to be because they're getting those underneath looks from San Diego State. And Rippin gave it back. Ripping through it where only his guy could get it. Nicely done to Richardson. Pressing at the line of scrimmage. Ripping on the run toward the first down marker. He's got it. They move the chance. And he's going to make the right decisions down the stretch. He throws inside the five-yard line. Nice wrap-up. C.T. Thomas sets up first and goal to two. Starting to heat up in this final part of the game. Four receivers with Madison, who plunges toward the goal line. Touchdown, Boise State. And it ain't over yet. When you need a drive, you need a play, you get all the way down there, hand it to your tailback can steal you a first down. Be alert. Agnew, he's got time defense collapses. Going backwards a couple, but he stays in bounds, forces the timeout. They get what they wanted, Brian Harson. Right in the officials' ear along the sideline, gets the timeout, the last one for the Broncos. Boise State, so already Ryan Agnew, the starter for San Diego State right now, checking a box off and beating Boise State at Boise. What a huge win for San Diego State to come in here and shock the Broncos.